good morning from Kirkwood, Scotland. And as usual, it is another glorious, beautiful, sunshiny day. No, it is not. It is not that beautiful right here at Port, here at Kirkwall. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Very gray, very wet, but that's okay because we're gonna shuttle inland and it's gonna be more beautiful. Hopefully it'll clear up like it did a little bit yesterday. That's what I'm hoping for. Not really sure what we're gonna do today. We're thinking we may go check out the standing stones. Those mysterious standing stones have us curious, but we're not quite sure yet. We're just gonna shuttle into town and then we'll figure it out from there. Yeah, the locals have been saying it's a little bit rainier than normal. Uh, they had a few months of a dry spell, believe it or not, and so I guess they're making up for it now. Plenty, plenty wet. No worries though, because we got our new gear, our raincoats in Inverness yesterday. So we're like, and Lisa's putting her boots on right now. It's like she's ready to go splash in the, in the water already. <laughs> we're prepared and ready. We got our PPE today. When we booked this cruise, we booked it kind of late, maybe a month ago. I mean, it was kind of a last minute deal. So all of the excursions here in Kirkwall were completely booked. There was nothing available. So we thought that we would be able to get off and get a taxi or some form of transportation out to the Standing Stones. You there can, but they're it, booked. Yeah, all the taxis are completely booked for the day. If I'd have known, we would like have pre-booked a taxi, but I didn't know that was a thing. So there are standing stones here that we can't see. There's a 5,000 year old village here that we can't see. <laughs> so we're gonna walk around the town, but there's a really cool cathedral and an old cemetery, which we're gonna go explore. Somebody's Can you happy. tell my disappointment right now? <laughs> old graveyards are really cool because of the stones. The oldest stone that I can read is from the 1870s, but there are some that are just illegible and just the weather and you know time has just eroded these stones down to where you can't tell what they say anymore. So um, it looks like the this ran from sometime in the mid 1800s and the newest graves I'm seeing are like 19, early 1900s. I saw one that was from World War II, but the rest of them are much older than that. Little interesting fact in Scotland, this is called a kirkyard instead of a graveyard because they call churches kirks. There are ravens everywhere flying all around the church landing on the tombstones, landing on top of the church. It is really a neat sight. This cemetery or- Kirkyard. Kirkyard, yeah, is unbelievably spectacular. Like this thing is one of the coolest cemeteries I've ever seen. Wow. It's like you're on the set of a, of a horror movie. It is almost Halloween. I think it would've been really cool if they could've put some pumpkins out. <laughs> It would have been nice. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Right over here, we got some ruins over there. And then you can see like, we're, we're kind of on a hill, the, the town slopes, and then there's another huge like hill of beautiful just- Beautiful countryside. Beautiful countryside, green pastures and little white houses. It's just crazy beautiful here. It's mind blowing. It's so different than what we're used to. Y'all, I, I had to pull the camera out for this, look. The sun is peeking out. Oh, there you are. Oh, feels amazing. Here comes the sun, little darling. Anyway, what I was gonna tell you was, look, this one here is cracked completely in half. One half is on the ground, the other half is still on the stone. Look, our shadows. shadows. Only time we've Haven't seen, seen our sun. shadow in a long time. <laughs> By the way, this is St. Magnus Cathedral. We forgot to tell you that. Right across from the cathedral is this old castle ruin. And man, I wish we could go inside of it. Obviously, it's probably dangerous, and that's why they don't let people in. But just seeing the structure is really cool. So this castle ruin is Bishop's Palace. And during the summer season, you actually can buy a ticket to go in and see it. But since we were here in October, season is over and we cannot go in. 
Right across the street from the ruined Bishop's Palace is the ruined Earl's Palace. So I'm not sure time frame, but it looks like they were built around the same time. Obviously right next to the church, the castles have gone into ruin. So neat to see them. Like, man, I wish we could go inside. So while I said earlier that the structures looked like they were from around the same time period, I was very, very wrong. Bishop's Palace was built in the 1100s. That is a very old structure right there. And then Earl's Palace was built in 1600. So it started in like 1601. So unbelievable. I mean, just the stonework on there, you can tell that, and I like seeing the pictures of what it looked like in its heyday but just unbelievable i love seeing these upon further inspection i see a crack we got some structural issues here this thing is ruined completely ruined It is so picturesque here. We're just walking through the town. All the buildings are older and just have this really cool architecture, just something that we're totally not familiar with. And just walking down this, what feels like an alleyway, but there isn't an occasional car that comes down here. It's a and, village. Yeah, it's a village and there's businesses here and there. We just walk past a pizzeria, an ice cream shop, people that are living here just out, you know, doing their daily lives and we're just wandering through their village. But um, I'm enjoying this. And it stopped raining again. I did. Ah, the sun is back. The weather gods are with us today. It must have known I snapped my umbrella in half. I went to open it and it flew right off the handle. It completely broke, couldn't put it back together. Thank you, son. We found us a little market in the village here. A little miniature uh, grocery store. These are two things we will never find in our grocery store back home. There's haggis and black pudding. Mm, yummy. So there's not uh, dates on most of these buildings, but this particular house kind of dates the whole area. So it says that the person that lived here lived here from uh, 1658 to 1670. So that tells you, I mean, this is older than I expected it to be. I was thinking, you know, 1800s maybe for a lot of these buildings and maybe some of them are, but this one in particular, 1600s. Look at that beautiful rainbow, a full rainbow. We're not in Ireland. And it just started raining again. We're not in Ireland yet. <laughs> we're Tomorrow. going we're going to Ireland. But maybe there's a pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. <laughs> that would be really nice. And it's raining again. Yeah, if you are not properly clothed, the Scott School kind of lets you know. They're like, oh, where's your boots? <laughs> where's your jacket? <laughs> well, I got my jacket now. Lisa's got her jacket. Because the sun will come out and it will go away and it will start raining again. And then it will repeat that. It, well, minus the sun. Everyone's getting back on the ship now. We have a very short work day. All aboard time is 1.30 p.m. It's, like, it's literally a half day because we have to go all the way from here, the Orkney Islands, Scotland, to uh, Belfast, Northern Ireland for tomorrow. But look at the so, sun. The sun's out. It's our last day in Scotland and the sun came out. The weather's glorious. It's not raining. I love it. So that's a wrap for Scotland. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and we will see you in Belfast tomorrow. Bye.
so I'm just using this as a stir step. Moving into the hot soul now. Still nobody in here. This is crazy. There's 2,300 people on board and nobody is in here for me. But I'm loving it. Thank <laughs> you.